You're listening to Episode 8 of the BookCast for Dwell, an Advent Study in Liturgy. This BookCast has been designed to give you another format in which to engage the content of the book. Hi, my name is Rachel Fehrenbach. I'm the author of Dwell and your host for these episodes. Today we are wrapping up Week 1 with Day 6, where we will dwell on this particular question. Do I take God at His word, expecting Him to keep His promises? So what I'm about to do is ask you a series of questions that all revolve around this main question we're dwelling on about if we take God at his word and expect him to keep his promises. So what I'm going to encourage you to do is grab a notebook or a journal and write your responses to the questions. If you're not able to do that um, currently, maybe you're in a car or going for a run, I want you to hit pause after each question and take a moment to answer either out loud or in the quietness of your heart. Just take a moment to answer them. Don't don't breeze by. Don't rush through these. It is so easy to consume information and thoughts and opinions from others about scripture and about our relationship with the Lord. But if we don't take the time to contemplate for ourselves the things that we believe and the things that we hold to be true, then it makes it hard when the tough and challenging times come to hold fast to our confession. And so at this time, I want you to work through these questions to really contemplate what it is that you believe and you think about this idea and this question of taking God at his word and expecting him to keep his promises. Okay, let's start with the first question. Do I take God at his word? Expecting him to keep his promises for forgiveness, redemption, and restoration. Now let's contemplate this question. Do I live each day with expectation, anticipation, and hope? Or do I live in a state of wishful thinking? The next question I would like you to consider is this one. Do I believe God's promises are for my present and my future? Or do I attribute them to some distant past? This next question requires a layer of openness and honesty. But I would like you to consider the question, what promises of God do I struggle with doubting? And finally, I would like you to take a moment to write out your personal confession of hope. If you don't have answers to all of these questions yet, or you're not quite sure what your confession of hope is for your life, or maybe you're just struggling to to trust God at all right now, and that's okay too. If that's the case, I just want to assure you that our lives and our faith walks are an ongoing process of renewal. And we'll talk more about this in a later week. But just know that your God wants to know you intimately. And he is not afraid of your questions. He's not afraid of your your wrestling. And he's not afraid to engage with you there. And so don't be afraid of them either. And just take the time to consider and contemplate what it is that you believe about God's faithfulness and your ability to hope and trust in Him. Thank you for joining me today as we dwelled on this question of taking God at His word and expecting Him to keep His promises. Join me tomorrow as we continue to dwell with God this Advent season.